Hello, welcome back to Curvy SQL Talk. Today we're going to talk about the Bing custom search. So you can take the power of the Bing search engine, the way it ranks things and looks for certain key phrases, etc. You can use that in your website. You can search across your own website to give your customers a great experience uh, with a, a deep search in your website, or you can you know pick a vertical set of websites that you want this search to work with so let me show you how it works because it's really pretty easy to use and and um, if, if you want there's no coding involved you have a couple op options so go to custom search ai click on um, uh, my instances or you're gonna have to sign in first like i am here so i'll go ahead and sign in then I've got a couple searches listed already, but let's create a new one. I'm going to create a new, what they call instance, and I'll just call it Kirby's search. Now, once you're in this, you're going to list a number of websites that you want to be part of this search. So let's just, for example, use um, MSN. We'll add that one. We'll also add Microsoft. And then we will also, for people looking for great videos on development topics within Microsoft, we'll add this Channel 9 one, like this one right here. We want it to search this. So we've added three websites. Now let's just test what the search experience would look like. You know, how does this work? So let's search on Cosmos DB, hit enter. And then you can see how it, it lists out the different um, uh, findings that it has. Now, before we uh, go on and show you how you actually uh, would use this, um, let's look at a couple other options. You can block certain sites, like if you would uh, want one of these sites not to show up in the results, you would just simply say block. Uh, you can also pin certain uh, websites. So for example, this same Channel 9 uh, website that we showed, if people typed in, for example, Visual Studio, if we want this particular website to come to the top of the search results. So let's click plus on that, and then we can test that. So if we go to a uh, search bar here, Visual Studio, hit enter, and then we'll see that that channel nine website that we talked that we mentioned in this pinned section <clears throat> shows up at the top okay so we've set it up and also another thing if you wanted to upload a list of websites you can do that by clicking this little cloud icon here and you can upload a text file uh, full of uh, different urls also uh, what the custom search ai uh, has done here is it's you know based on what you've added here it's, it's brought up some suggestions you may want to add these these other websites so two things, if you were going to use this programmatically and you're going to uh, embed this into your own application, uh, this page here, the API endpoint, shows what an API call would look like and then that response. So let's say we were searching for SQL Server. Um, now, this is where we need to get a subscription key, but that's straightforward too. Just click here. It'll bring us here. Um, you agree to the terms. Uh, make sure you sign in. And then uh, let's see, here's our key right here. So copy that, go back here, throw it in here, and then we can do a test call. So this will show you what the call looks like with this particular search term. This is the response. That's if you were gonna do this, you know, use this search API uh, within your own custom application. Another option is a, a hosted um, user interface, and this is free of charge. So first of all, pick the layout that you want here. Um, I'm going to pick this one on the far left here. Uh, we're going to pick the color theme. We're going to go with the dark theme. So you're getting a preview of what it looks like. See, it's kind of generic here, my search engine, no logo, but, but you see what it looks like. Now let's change a few things like the title. Let's call this Kirby's Search. Um, and then let's change the, the logo. See, there's no logo here. We'll go out here to my notepad and pull back this ridiculously long um, URL, put that in there. And then right away, it adds that icon and gives you a preview of what it looks like. 
Um, you're going to enter the subscription key. I think it's still over here that we pulled out. And then click Save. And so that configuration is saved. Now, how would you use it? Uh, you've got a, a snippet uh, of code right here that you can use. But also right here, you've got an HTML endpoint. So let's click on that and see what it looks like. And here we are in our search page. And let's just say we wanted it to search on um, SQL Server 2017. Press enter, and that's uh, how quick it is. Cosmos DB, Satya, our CEO. So that's how this search works. Very easy to use um, and no ads and very fast. So that's how you can add that to your uh, website to give your customers a great search experience. Thank you for watching.